And then final court update news thing is related to me. Um, let's open these up real quick. So I don't know if I mentioned this on on stream, but uh, Stebbins is a guy who pretends to be a turkey, and um, he, he's suing me for contributory copyright infringement because he saw that uh, Greer's case was not immediately thrown out. Uh, so he uploaded a video that was, like, critical of the Kiwi Farms. And then a guy re-uploaded that with, like, his commentary, making fun of his video, calling him, like, a faggot. And Stebbins says, you gotta take this down. I'm just like, okay, well, it's very clearly, like, an edit, commentary edit, so I'm not gonna take this down. I know you're asking me this just so that you can sue me, and of course he does. Now, he is a vexatious litigant in Arkansas, where he lives, so... Uh, he's actually been told by a federal judge in Arkansas that he is not to submit any more copyright lawsuits without representation because he um, uh, he abuses that so much. So then he decided to file in West Virginia where Local LLC is incorporated. And I saw somebody ask once why we're incorporated in West Virginia. Uh, it is because West Virginia is the only state in the entire country that lets you incorporate to a P.O. box. And uh, without a registered agent. Because if you remember, during Drop Kiwi Farms, they went super hard after Registered Agents, Inc., which was our which was our uh, registered agent. Because every company needs a, a presence in the state. So there's, like, a bunch of companies that will sell you, like, a mail address for $20, and that's your registered address. Well, when people are, like, threatening to bomb your registered agent, they're not going to represent you for 20 bucks. And I contacted, like, 20 different people in Wyoming where it was incorporated before, and they all said no. So the registered agent for Local LLC in West Virginia is the actual se Secretary of State. If someone were to try and sue me, and they don't want to just send it to the P.O. box for whatever reason, because they want to make sure that we get it, they can actually service the Secretary of State, and then he'll come down and deliver it, <laughs> or send somebody from his office to. And West Virginia, for whatever reason, is the only state in the entire country that lets you do things that way. And for that, we are very thankful. Um, cause otherwise I would not have a, a valid LLC at the moment. Anyway, so that's where he's suing. He's suing, in, I think in the Southern, I think that West Virginia, despite being so small, has two federal districts and we're being sued in the Southern one where, um, Charleston, I think is, uh, is in. and, um, he filed to move in form of Paul Paris, and the reason why he did that is because he doesn't want to pay the $300 court fee associated with filing a lawsuit. He says he's so broke. Um, and Hardin filed, uh, with a pro hoc vice, which is allowing him to represent in a state that he's not licensed in, to say that he actually shouldn't be allowed to, to file in form of Paris, and importantly that he's lying about his filing because he actually has enough money to pay the fees. He's based on representations he's made elsewhere about how much his wor work is worth. He alleges that his work is worth more than the GDP of West Virginia. I think that was the standard that, um, that Hardin used to, to show how ridiculous his IFP request is. And that's important because if you file um, with a request for Informa Paparis and you're actually denied, it throws out the entire case with prejudice. So <laughs> it's like an instant loss. If you fuck with the government and you say, like, I don't want to file the filing fee, and you file Informa Paparis and then you're lying about it, they actually just throw the entire fucking case out. Um, so that's the ideal outcome. Anyways, the judge... Um, we got the only black judge in the entire state of West Virginia, I think, uh, as our, our case guy. So we have a cool black guy as a judge, and he's looking at this bullshit and says, she, man, this is boo shit. So <laughs> he just hasn't replied in like six months. He hasn't done anything on the case for six months except to say, don't file anything. That's what he did. He put an order in. He said, don't file any more shit in this fucking case until I decide what I want to do with it. Um, that was the cool black guy reaction to the the. Copy, contributory copyright infringement thing. And so we've been waiting for a long time, and I'm happy to wait until the rest of my natural fucking life to, to hear the update to this case. But Stebbins got upset, so he filed... He literally filed with the appellate court for the Fourth Circuit, which I mentioned again on stream, and the only thing I got wrong when I mentioned this is that it does include 
Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, and the Carolinas. It does not include the District of Columbia. The District of Columbia is its own federal district. It is the smallest one. It is just D.C., but it's also the most important besides the Supreme Court. Um, anyways, so he filed with them. Big, important court, right? The fourth is the, the second most important appellate court under the D.C. appellate court. And they get this shit, and it's called a writ of mandamus. It is a it, it is Latin for a request for a mandate. There, he is asking the appellate court to force the judge to make a ruling. And in the, his application, he was told multiple times that he has serviced everybody completely fucking wrong. And he has to actually service the judge personally and not just send it to the courthouse. And he completely fucking refused to do this. He did it wrong like three different times. And then they finally came down and said, no, this is stupid. This is wrong. Fuck you. Denied. And we're not going to have oral arguments because it's so stupid and so wrong. There's no fucking point. So now... We're going to be in the the Southern District, Federal District of West Virginia, waiting on a cool black judge to decide what what to do. And you're going to wait patiently because there's no undue wait. And I like this one in particular. Uh, The fine clerk of the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, Nawamaka Anoui, a very classic American name, says, In accordance with the decision of this court, the petition for writ on mandamus is denied. It's a very rare instance where the clerk's name and the actual judgment appear to be in equal length. <laughs> so that's the, the, the Stebbins update. It's a fucking clown show. By the way, in his filings, he mentioned that he had called the clerk of court at the where the actual lawsuit is, the Southern District of West Virginia. And he has harassed the clerk of court there demanding updates he like filed that in the appeal saying look i've been calling them every day for weeks demanding that the cool black judge do something that uh that he doesn't want to do right now and i'm basically tired of doing that so you got to force him now which is a great thing to do if you ever want to win your case make sure you fucking harass the judge and the clerk all the time that's a great idea thank you for watching this clip this is perspicacity Remember to like and subscribe.